time out of market, okay? So there's a lot of people out there that they might be using their friend or they might be using a part-time agent or somebody that doesn't have a lot of experience. And I've had a few clients actually in the last year or two that I had a horrible experience with my realtor. I had to fire them and I wanna work with you. And over this period, this has gone on three, six, nine, a year, nine months, a year, right? And like the, the evaluation of homes that have come and gone and they're telling me these horror stories about, well, there's this one home and we should have had it, but my client said to go in right at list and then it sold for $10,000 over and I was prepared to go at $20,000 over and it didn't happen or or they're not showing them a property the same the same day or day in. There's a reason you and I have a team. There's a, the, the people that asked me today, I'm showing two homes tonight. One of them was a phone call that just came in just before we started a podcast. And another guy emailed me at one o'clock last night in the morning. And I've got myself and another guy on my team showing him at a property at seven o'clock tonight in Halton Hills, right? So the end of the day is we're dedicated to our clients in the sense of, I know Andrew, you and your team, you're dedicated to your clients that if you're busy, you're gonna have Lisa or somebody else on your team that is available to go and show that property so that it's a process. Could you put in a bully offer? But time out of market with, okay, so now it's three months later. Oh, you thought markets were gonna slow down. Well, they're not. And now the house that you were looking at originally is $100,000 more. I mean, that might be an exaggeration, but I might be smack on. And it's well, easily uh, in, in this spring market. In this market, right? I don't know about you, but I think that was pretty accurate depending on obviously, you know, where you're looking, but time out of market. And that's why, you know, expectations, our experience, working with a team. And these are things I know we're gonna talk about in future episodes, but man, like uh, you owe it to yourself to make sure you're learning from our experiences.